this is my commentary on Sunday. I, I really appreciate um, the courage to change. I, uh, uh, when my, before my dad was, you know, disfellowshipped when I was younger, he was an alcoholic. I always struggled with alcoholism in our family. So for years, I mean, alcoholics, they just never go away. I mean, it does, it's always in them. They're always fighting it. So when he gave this to me, it was a gift. And uh, I really honestly have never, I've gone through portions of it, but I've never gone through the full year. So that's my goal here is that I would, I would be able to utilize this in my life. It was a gift from my father. And I think it's a gift for all of us actually that especially uh, individuals that are struggling with alcoholism and for those who have to deal with parents or siblings or other humans that are alcoholics. It's not an easy thing to deal with. Um, I'm grateful that uh, one of my prerequisites for getting married is that the person that I married did not ever drink and <laughs> in my family I'm the drinker am I alcoholic no I'm not but I appreciate I appreciate the struggle and I appreciate what families with dealing with alcoholism um, what they go through Amber Scora I was reading her book and she was explaining she had a father who was a brother who had these problems. And it's something that as families, it doesn't matter who you are. We all have someone that drinks just maybe a little too much. So I just wanted to clarify that. I wanted to let you know why I picked this book, mostly because I love that it was a gift from my father. And I miss him. Enjoy your life and enjoy even the alcoholics in your life because one day they may not be around and that's somebody I miss. He was human and he had, he had his demons, but he was a good father and I appreciate that. I appreciate that about my dad. Not all people with uh, parents that are alcoholics can say that, but my dad was a, a worker, work, working alcoholic. So he loved his family. Thank you for listening. Follow your bliss. Be good humans.